Welcome to this podcast. This is a portion of enjoyment from the Holy Word for Morning Revival for today, on the general topic of, laboring on the all-inclusive Christ typified by the good land for the building up of the church as the body of Christ, for the reality and the manifestation of the kingdom, and for the bride to make herself ready for the Lord's coming, 2023 Winter Training, Week 1, Day 3. The title of this portion of enjoyment is, Fight Against the Evil Forces Who Are Veiling the All-Inclusiveness of Christ from Us. We hope you enjoy the Lord while listening to this portion and we welcome your comments with what you have enjoyed. We need to realize that Satan and his evil powers work to frustrate the people on earth from contacting God and receiving Christ, and the evil forces are veiling the all-inclusiveness of Christ from God's people. We need to fight the spiritual warfare one with the Lord and in the body to enjoy the all-inclusive Christ. Amen. On one hand, the good land of Canaan has a positive aspect, for it typifies the all-inclusive Christ with his unsearchable riches for us to enjoy. On the other hand, there's the negative side, which is that the evil forces are fighting to hinder us from the enjoyment of Christ and from possessing the all-inclusive Christ as our portion. There is the need, therefore, for spiritual warfare. As we enjoy Christ with his unsearchable riches, we are formed into an army, the army of God, to fight the spiritual warfare against the enemy in the heavenlies. When the people of Israel were delivered out of Egypt, they came out as the armies of God, they were formed to be God's army to fight for His interest on the earth. They were ready to fight not individualistically but corporately, as a nation. Similarly, we today as believers in Christ have been allotted a portion of the all-inclusive Christ, but we need to enter into the possession of our portion. However, there's a layer of spiritual forces that are evil, who hinder us, attack us, harass us, and try to usurp us from enjoying Christ. Oh, Lord! In the history of the children of Israel we see that, even when they reached the good land and twelve spies were sent to see the land and bring back a report, ten out of the twelve had an evil report. They saw the giants in the fortified cities but did not believe in the Lord, who would give them the land. Caleb and Joshua, however, had a different spirit. They were the Lord's overcomers in that age, and they knew that, if the Lord wants to give them the land, He will give it to them, and their enemies were nothing in comparison to the Lord and what He can do. Caleb in particular quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess the land, for we are well able to overcome it. Wow! We need to have the same attitude today. We need to have the attitude of believing into the Lord and not looking at the enemies, at our failures, or at our weaknesses. We look to the Lord, for He is well pleased to give us the good land for us to enjoy, partake of, and possess. Yes, the enemies seem much greater and stronger than us, and there are fortified cities in the land, but we have the Lord on our side, and with Him, we have the victory. Actually, we are in victory and we fight from victory, and we stand in the Lord's victory to proclaim His victory wherever we go. Satan and his evil forces are veiling the all-inclusiveness of Christ from God's people. On the negative side, the land of Canaan signifies the aerial part, the heavenly part, of the dark kingdom of Satan, the heavenlies that are full of Satan's forces, Ephesians 2 2, 6 12. Ephesians chapter 2 indicates that in the heavenlies there are different layers, in the highest layer, the third heaven, Christ is our everything as our good land. However, there's a lower layer in the heavenlies, the air, where Satan as the ruler of the authority of the air is frustrating the people on earth from contacting God and from receiving Christ. God in Christ as the Spirit comes to reach man, but there's this layer, the air, where the enemy fights to blind the eyes of the unbelievers, keep them in darkness, and not allow the illumination of the gospel of the glory of Christ to shine on them. Satan has his authority and his angels, who are his subordinates as the principalities, powers, and rulers of the darkness of this world, Acts 26 18, Matt 12 26, 25 41, Ephesians 6 12, Colossians 1 13. Satan has his kingdom, the authority of darkness. And to this day, Satan and his evil forces are veiling the all-inclusiveness of Christ from God's people, 2-8, 18, 2 Corinthians 4-4. When we see this, when we realize that the evil forces are actively working right now to veil the all-inclusiveness of Christ from us, the people of God, we will come to the Lord and look away from anything unto Him so that we may be joined to Him in spirit and reject any attack of the enemy. Christ is all-inclusive and vast, He has unsearchable riches for us to enjoy, but the enemy is actively working to veil us from seeing the all-inclusiveness of Christ. Think about it, this rich, wonderful, all-inclusive Christ is our portion, but how many believers in Christ throughout the world enjoy the Lord in His all-inclusiveness? How many Christians who love the Lord today spend time with Him daily to simply enjoy His unsearchable riches? This is why we need to fight the battle in the Lord and in the body. 
Seeing that Satan and his forces are veiling the all-inclusiveness of Christ from God's people, we need to be like Caleb and Joshua, being strong in the Lord to fight the battle against the evil forces. We should not fear them but rather, stand in the Lord and be empowered in Him to fight the battle in the Lord and in the body. We do not fight against flesh and blood, we fight against the evil powers in the heavenlies. On one hand, we enjoy the all-inclusive Christ with all His unsearchable riches, on the other hand, we're aware of the enemy's attacks and tactics to hinder us from seeing Christ. As we enjoy Christ with His riches, we realize that the enemy and his evil forces in the heavenlies are still usurping and occupying the land. So we fight the battle in the Lord, being strengthened by the Christ we enjoy and partake of. May the Lord unveil us to see that there's an exceedingly real spiritual warfare in which we must engage. The all-inclusive Christ is in the third heaven, which is connected to our spirit, and he is our everything as our good land, Deuteronomy 8 7-10. The enemy, however, is in between us and the Lord, actively working to hinder us from enjoying Christ and to veil us to not realize the all-inclusiveness of Christ. The Canaanites typify the fallen angels, the rebellious angels who followed Satan, who have become the powers, rulers, and authorities in Satan's kingdom, the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenlies, Revelation 12:4, 7, Ephesians 6:12. In particular, the way the enemy operates in his schemes is by attacking us in our mind, in our thoughts. He injects his thoughts into us and disguises them as our own, so we allow such thoughts to remain. The issue is that, when we allow the enemy any ground in our thoughts, we are defeated. It is very helpful to open to the Lord in the beginning of the day and throughout the day and take the helmet of salvation to cover our mind from the attacks of the enemy. We put on the helmet of the hope of salvation and stand against the accusations and evil thoughts of the enemy. We stand one with the Lord in spirit and we stand in the body, taking the armor as the body and we want to enjoy the all-inclusive Christ. We bind any thought that rises up against the knowledge of God, and we stand against the enemy's schemes and strategies to veil the all-inclusiveness of Christ. Lord Jesus, unveil us to see the spiritual warfare going on for our enjoyment of Christ as the good land. May we realize that there are the evil powers in the heavenlies fighting to veil the all-inclusiveness of Christ from us, the people of God. Amen, Lord Jesus, we stand in the Lord, one with you and one with the body, and we want to just enjoy you. We open our heart to you. We turn our heart to you. We exercise our spirit to receive your divine dispensing. We exercise to take the helmet of salvation to cover our thoughts. We stand against any thought that rises up against the knowledge of God. O oh Lord, we exercise our spirit to enjoy you as the all-inclusive one, and we stand one with you to fight against the enemy and his strategies. We pray for ourselves and for all the saints that we would enter into the full enjoyment and experience of the all-inclusive Christ and that the enemy would be defeated and put to shame. Fight the spiritual warfare and enjoy the all-inclusive Christ one with the Lord. May the Lord unveil us to see that, just as the children of Israel encountered many enemies when they were about to enter the good land, so we today have to fight the spiritual warfare in order to enjoy the all-inclusive Christ. Israel had to defeat the Canaanites, the enemies that were occupying the land, today we need to fight the spiritual warfare against the evil forces that are veiling the all-inclusiveness of Christ. In the air, there are the enemies, the principalities and powers who seek to keep us from enjoying the all-inclusive Christ. And they have some helpers in us, our self and our flesh, Satan dwells in our flesh and he is embodied in the self. So the enemy in the air and the enemy in us is one to frustrate us from enjoying Christ. When we bury the self and circumcise the flesh, the powers of darkness in the air will be exposed. Our self and our flesh help the evil powers and act as their representatives in our being. But when we deal with the self and the flesh, the powers of darkness will come forth to war against us. Oh, Lord! We need to learn to fight the spiritual warfare. On the positive side, we enjoy the all-inclusive Christ with His unsearchable riches. On the negative side, we fight the spiritual warfare against the enemy who is not only outside of us but worse, within us, even one with ourself and our flesh. The enjoyment of the rich produce of Christ is strengthening us and empowering us to fight the spiritual warfare. Praise the Lord, the triune God went through the processes of incarnation, human living, crucifixion, and resurrection to become the life-giving Spirit to indwell us, His chosen people. Now the triune God in Christ as the Spirit is bountifully supplying us with all the unsearchable riches of Christ to be everything to us, the good land is this bountiful Spirit in our spirit. The Spirit witnesses with our spirit that we are children of God, Romans 8:16, and we are joined to the Lord as one Spirit, 1 Corinthians 6:17. We need to turn to our spirit, exercise our spirit, and live in spirit. We need to walk in spirit, Galatians 6 16, 25, Romans 8 4, and be in spirit. 
If we do not walk in spirit, however, we are rebellious against the Lord. We may think we are okay, we may think we didn't sin or argue with anyone today, but if we don't live Christ and by Christ, we are rebellious against the Lord. We need to repent before the Lord not only for our sins and trespasses but even more for our lack of living Christ. We need to open to the Lord and confess our not taking Him as our life. We may have a good behavior, we may not commit sins or offend anyone, but we live in rebellion against the Lord, for instead of living Christ, we live in ourselves and according to ourselves. We live in our opinion, not by the Lord's revelation. We do not walk in Christ but rather, we walk according to our concepts and our spiritual opinions. When we do this, the enemy has a way of veiling us from seeing and enjoying the all-inclusiveness of Christ. May we confess our lack of living Christ, repent of our rebellion against the Lord, and go on enjoying the Lord in spirit. We fight the spiritual warfare in the Lord and in the body, and we enjoy the riches of the all-inclusive Christ to be inwardly supplied as we fight the battle. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming into us as the life-giving Spirit in our spirit. Hallelujah, we are joined to the Lord as one Spirit, and today we can walk in the mingled Spirit. Amen, Lord, we come to you today and we want to live in you, with you, by you, and in oneness with you. We do not want to live according to our concepts and opinions. We take you as our life. We repent for our rebellion against you. O oh Lord, forgive us for not taking you as our life today. Forgive us for being in rebellion against you. Forgive us for not allowing you to live in us and through us. We do not want to live according to our opinions and concepts but according to your revelation. Amen, Lord, today we want to fight the spiritual warfare by standing in the Lord and by enjoying the all-inclusive Christ with his unsearchable riches. Keep us enjoying you today.